One of the things that we are trying to do as a church more and more intentionally is equip the brothers and sisters within our midst to see their lives as, as immersed in the mission field and for them to think creatively through where they are, what relationships, resources God's given to them that can be used for kingdom advancement. Business world is mission field. So how can this mission field be maximized for the spread of the gospel and the glory of God? And so we're trying to just intentionally help brothers and sisters in all kinds of different domains, different areas of work, different skill sets to think through how can all of these be used for the, for the glorification of his name and the spread of the gospel. Warren Averett is a full service CPA firm this typical tax and accounting and then all of the other services that might go along with that including uh, investment services, personnel services, consulting and the like. Faith has always been a very important part of how we run the business. Uh, not only do we want to do things well but we want to do things that are morally right. The other interesting thing about putting faith to work in your business is it is good business. Uh, what we see set forth in the Bible are just really good principles for how we get along with each other, how we should live our lives. So it's no accident that applying those in the marketplace will, will bring you success. One of the things I love about watching just the work of Christ in Jim Warren is seeing how Jim has realized that his, his workplace, his job, is a means by which he can glorify God and be a part of the spread of the gospel. So to see him begin to think through intentional ways to lead other people to hear the gospel, for him to seek intentional ways to build up other followers of Christ who he works alongside, and then for him to even explore ways to leverage the influence and resources God's entrusted to him in the business world to say, how can these be, things be used, not just for worldly purposes, but for kingdom purposes? We've had a great working relationship with Compassion International. I was first introduced by a mutual friend to Steve Wilson, who at the time was heading up the business relations unit at Compassion. He described for me a company in the upper Midwest who had given their employees the opportunity to sponsor children through the company. When I heard that, I said, this is so simple and something we can do, we'll just offer it to our employees. I was hopeful that we might sponsor 12 to 15 children the first day, Compassion was a little smarter than that, sent us 25 children that we could sponsor. And within five minutes of the meeting uh, being over, 25 kids were sponsored and another 20 were on the waiting list. Compassion really came alongside of us and said, yes, we will help you make this happen so that um, as a community of Warren Averett, you're sponsoring you know, kids all in one community in Rwanda. And that's a little bit outside the box of what Compassion normally does, um, but they really kind of helped facilitate that opportunity. We work with Compassion International in a place in Rwanda that's called Niamata. It's just a few miles south of Kigali. And all the children at Warren Abert are sponsored from that one location. So this has a lot of interesting dynamics. We get to correspond with the children and so we share those letters that go back and forth. And one of the big highlights is a group every year goes from Warren Abert to visit those, these kids to take pictures, to bring gifts, uh, to experience their life, to even visit in their homes. And it's been a really life transforming thing for the people that have gone. And to see uh, our kids with our people is just a very powerful picture. Being associated with Compassion has been a great story to tell other businesses and our clients. I know I've had the opportunity to tell many clients, you know, they say, well, how has your summer been? And I said, well, I got to go to Rwanda through my work for Warren Averett and uh, got to visit a child that I sponsored. And they think that's an amazing thing. I was actually able to go on the trip to Rwanda last year and see him firsthand how everybody we met that worked with Compassion operates, from Dan Procknow, who led our trip, to um, the guys at the Compassion office in Kigali, Rwanda, just sharing with us what's going on, very open and transparent about their ministry, and then also seeing the records they kept to know that, you know, when we sent an extra $20 one Christmas, Belize and her grandmother bought a goat, and it was documented in her file. So when you see that kind of accountability, you really feel good about the dollars you, you contribute each month. 
Compassion has been great from the very beginning when we first asked and we sponsor kids from all one project. They were happy to accommodate us with that. Uh, they have put us in touch with other business leaders who have done similar things. So we've had the forum where we could discuss, talk about what's worked well, what's not worked so well, and just for some mutual, mutual encouragement and support. They also have a good variety of uh, written material, printed materials that we can look at, that we can share with our people, as well as videos and other multimedia formats. We can take the message of compassion to our people. I've seen firsthand uh, the effect of compassion in a variety of different contexts, from a Latin American context to uh, African to Indian context. My, my own family is involved with compassion, and we as a church have intentionally partnered together with compassion to see a healthy, sustainable, local church-driven, gospel-centered way of coming alongside local churches and impoverished communities that are serving children and helping provide for basic needs. I'm a firm believer just in what God's grace is, has enabled compassion to do. And we've been privileged as a church and I've been privileged as a pastor just on a personal level to be involved with what, with what they're doing in contexts all around the world.